Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates. Wait a minute, my glasses messed up? No, they're good. Pirates of all ages. We are back with episode 9,742 of this $7,000 lockup. No idea what really episode it is. It's hard for me to keep track of this. But this is where we left off the other day. We have this, we moved everything to this special location right here in a unit. We have this much of uncharted territory and we are starting to go through stuff. We left off on this clothes box. We picked up on this clothes box. We've got stuff from the last video we did with Harold. If y'all remember Harold Edelman, shout out to my homie. The oldest British man known in existence. And we're here, we're going through clothes. That's what we're starting off right here. We are going through the clothes. Harold didn't like going through clothes. He's always like, oh, this is rubbish. This is rubbish. You know, Harold? That's why you and I don't see eye to eye all the time, buddy. Liz wear, that's almost cool. Doesn't look cool. Sweater. Never know. My clothes is falling over. <sighs> what is that ladies and gentlemen right off the bat box number one of the day we're on this uh, this unit right here ladies and gentlemen i have been on the edge of my seat i know y'all have too i have never bought something so exciting to go through as this and look right at the bottom of the clothes box i don't even know what that is we're about to find out come on everything i see in this unit that looks like a box it looks like a bag i can't even uh, just slow down michael just slow down what do you got here what Oh, we're dropping all the clothes. Okay, okay, slow down. Something in the bag. Jingle bells. Mm. Dang it. I'm sad now. I'm sad. Very sad. Dang, that could have been so good. <sighs> Made in England, King. That's still nice though, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna turn my nose up at that box. And Christmas ornaments. What you got going on in here, Richard? Carhartt shirt, Carhartt shirt with a spider on it. Jerseys are always good. Eddie Bauer. Okay, you gonna have anything good in this box, Richard? That's kind of cool. Renaissance-y looking. Wow. See, like, I'm trying to be where I spit. Oh, Cabello's brand new almost. Pink, almost cool. I try to not do clothes these days, guys, but even this clothes here in this unit is off the hook. Carmen, no, no, no. That one's kind of cool, made in USA, vintage. Sheepers, maybe. This is good for packing stuff, though. Fly Cattleman. What have we got here? Hawaiian Islands, nice. Vintage Arizona jeans and vintage Levi. That is actually really nice. Where's that? Nice, actually. I really like this one. I have a feeling about this. Where's that? Okay. Spider. Coat hanger. No. Synergy, 70% wool. Interesting. Something is eight in it. See? So that's basically trash. All right, let's keep plugging away in this scary box that has something eating things in it. Bounty Hunter. Marcos, Colorado. That could be good. 
See the buttons on it? Marcos Brothers. We're gonna. Ooh. By the time you guys get this video, you'll see what I decided to do with everything. And you'll probably be slightly proud of me for deciding to. Uh... Ooh, look at this London fog. Nice. This is just money jackets right here. Everything, money. Orange County Choppers. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. You'll be pretty impressed that I decided to... Ooh, I've been hearing a lot about this brand, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, guys. This is the type of stuff that makes you guys the greatest out there. As you tell me, hey, pirate, you don't know nothing about Filson. Filson means big money. And now I know that Filson means money. Banana Republic. Fishing jacket. This goes to a lamp. I don't know which one, so we'll set that aside. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look at that. Wow, hold on a second. Let me go through the rest of this box and we'll show that in more detail because that is kind of cool. Is the only thing in there? Yeah. This is cool. I like this one. It's big. Granted, it only says made in China on it. San Yu. Still kind of cool. It's got to have a little. Cowboy boots. Area. Area. Boot. Setting all the boots aside because they could have potential of being money. We've got to get another box for them. So it looks like just a bunch of boots. Another one. Oh, look at that. That is fancy. A little leather skin or a snake skin or ostrich skin. Skin of some animal. Dope. One of these boots had like a million dollars in it or something. Columbia. I didn't even know Columbia made boots. That's got to be good. Not a bad little haul of boots. I don't know what this stuff is worth, but like I said, you're going to be surprised. Those are pretty nice. Coleman lanterns are actually pretty pricey on eBay. I'm sure some of you know that already. But... Got two of them. Look, he was a collector too. Like, see, he probably went and got a deal on this one. Went shop and found that for two ninety eight. But that realistically on eBay, that's probably forty fifty bucks. Still has the glass intact. It's metal. Different colors are better. If you've heard me say that before, in another video. That's pretty nice. Shop towel box. Climbing rope, some type of portable compressor thingamajigger. This bag is weird. What the? See what's all inside of here. This is crazy. So this is like some type of what shooting system. Um, you got little things in here, parts for this tripod. that is um here we got a mounting mechanism type 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 thing slash tripod maybe then we got uh those and then we got this 25 times ler kona tsn1 cremador armory um i don't even know what the heck to call that and then 
Over here we got the matching jacket for it. So this is like some type of shooting thing, Kareemador Armory. And then the pants to match it. I don't know, but I think that is a great little find right there. I mean, that is, whew, what are you using this for? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> nice. The power tools have been phenomenal. This year. I'm still bewildered by what kind of shooting stuff that was for. So I'm like looking at this tool like, oh, that's cool. Guys, I, <laughs> I keep saying this. Guys, not only am I going to need a lot of help, but I've never seen stuff like this in a storage unit. I've bought a lot of good storage units. Trust and believe. In my time, I've had one unit crack 26 grand just in cash. I had one unit where I sold 46000 and just con uh, wood shop machinery i had one unit where i sold like 45 grand in expensive stuff like i i cart paintings and louis vuitton bags and the most finest of chanel things lady was into fancy stuff but um I think this unit is starting to feel like my possible best storage unit i've ever bought another mag skill saw hd 5860 Was this better than a Mag 77? Because that's what I thought it was for a second. This could be better than a Mag 77. Worm drive, is it? I don't know. Jeez. Got a lock here. I don't want to break the lock. You never know. It might be worth like three bucks if I don't break it. So we're gonna go. Home. We're gonna go old fashioned here. Look, at, here we are. We're taking screws. Out. This box right here. It's green wood, old. Got a sticker there. You can see almost inside of there. Looks. I don't know. If that, what do you think's inside of this box? We're gonna go to a cup to a commercial break. Let you type that in now. Back from commercial. Just what I thought it was gonna be. Exactly everything that is in here. I just didn't want to tell you guys because I didn't want you to think I'm right about everything. This is for fly fishing. Bird feathers, strings, every weights. It was like a knight for putting your fly in there and creating it. Alright. So yeah, all things fly fishing, ladies and gentlemen. Weights. Ooh, a Swiss army knife. All you need to survive living in the jungle. It's a nice Kennedy toolbox. Kennedy kits. Machine. Machinist toolbox. We've got all the fancy little drawers. We got some felt in here. Absolutely nothing in the toolbox. But that is a good $20, $30 sale. It's missing the lock. All right, what do we have right here? This is a Craftsman toolbox. Very heavy. What could be in there? Could we have gold and silver? Could we have tools? What could be like guns and ammo? We're about to find out. On seven million. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Seven million. Ooh! Look at all these socket sets, ladies and gentlemen. There's like, uh, what is that, three quarters inch or three sixteenths drive? I don't know because I'm not really necessarily a tool expert. But what I do see is like, I see like a hundred bucks in this top drawer. USA Craftsman, Craftsman. That's a snap-on, I can tell already. Yep. One snap-on extension. Taiwan, that's a snap-on. Craftsman, lots of Craftsman. Oh, shoot, nice, I stand corrected. That is all snap-on right there, I think. For the most part, that is all snap-on. That now has a little more value than I first thought when I opened up, because I'm thinking, I'm thinking Craftsman, no. No, that is snap-on. Now that's a couple hundred dollars right there for that set, just right there. Nice, that drawer got really good. We got a set of Armstrong here. What is that? Nice little universal type set. Craftsman wrenches, those look nice. What are these? No, Crescent, Crescent. These are kind of neat though. I like the little sliding aspect to those. More Craftsman. Not bad. Sharpening stone.
another little bit of money and tools right there. This is still like easy as $75, $80 box of tools like that. What is this? I don't even know what 90% of the... It's heavy, it's a motor, it looks brand new. PMDC motor model. It's literally brand new. That is probably... I can't speculate. Motors like this could be like 150, they could be like $2,000. I have no idea what this one is worth. Skill saw, skill saw. It's kind of weird, it's a skill saw, but it's called a skill saw, so I said skill saw, skill saw. Anyway, another 40 to 65 bucks, depending on who's there and what they're willing to spend, but this isn't very great condition. You can see a little bit of blemishes. Nails. Hmm. I don't know what that is, but I feel like that might have some a little more value. Long insulated tool to open blades. Maybe this one too. I don't know. Greenly, those are good wire strippers there. A little bit of money, not much. What? Another skill saw, Mag 77, used. Looks to be in good shape though. I mean, I wouldn't say a great shape, but I would imagine another $60, $70 there for that saw with the box. Just adding up. These are the things I'm selling first to help get my money back. Saving all the best of stuff, which will be in a recap at the end of all these videos. One major recap, but the tools are the first things going. Hmm, it's the hammer box. A little bit of money there. Hmm, tons of nice tools. Do you need punch set? No. Sorts of. Yep. What's in here? Mm. Those are nice. Chisels. Okay. This, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe it's original of some form. National Firearms Act material witness. Wanted flyer from the NCIC. This is weird. I don't even know what something like this would be worth. Look like it's double sided. One of the trippiest things I think I ever found. And if you go on the other side. Is a record. I have no idea which record this is. Their Satanic Majestics Majesty's Request London Records. 40 bucks. This is something here. For some reason, this is on the back of this, tucked in here. This is framed. Crazy. What is that? Let me know what you think of this. I've never found, found anything like this before. Once again, this is a unit that's been full of stuff I've never found. This is almost something I would think about keeping. This is the type of stuff I would keep on my living room wall. It's just a reminder of life.
And that's a wrap on this unboxing, whatever episode it is in this $7,000 monster record unit I bought. And basically, um, I've got plenty more to come. So don't forget to hit the like button, share button, subscribe button, say something pretty, and uh, I love y'all.